Welcome back guys, welcome to a brand new day for a 2 TCG Worlds 2018 If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel And if you're watching live here with me on Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out with me today um, Now we're going to be featuring Zorg Glacian, the list that got top 8 at Charlotte Regionals this past weekend um, I was actually heavily testing Zorg Glacian uh, right before the event, my list was uh, quite different from this one um, But the concept was the same right just deny abilities sweep with Glacian, etc um, So yeah Glacian GX 200 HP ability freezing gaze as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play in their hand and in their discard pile have no abilities except for freezing gaze So you get to deny Zorg, you get to deny Lele, you get to deny uh, Silvalli's ability, you get to deny Volcanion's ability, you get to deny what else? What other relevant abilities are there? Uh, Leafians, although that's not too relevant, you deny Lycanroc. Um, what else? You deny Guardi. So lots of really good targets in the meta that Glacian simply denies. Um, then we have its attack Frost Bullet dealing 90 plus 30 to a bench Pokemon. That concept has been around for a while. It's a really nice and um, correctly placing that 30 damage is actually very relevant and very important because it can actually make or break a whole game. And then we have Polar Spear GX, which deals 50 damage for every damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon. So that um, that uh, has a lot of synergy with Frost Bullet, correct? Then we have the 2 2 Zorak GX line, Zorak GX, of course, 210 HP, ability trade. And then we get to discard a card, draw two. Um, we do Raichu Speeding, 20 damage for every Pokemon in play, but it's only a 2 2 line and its main purpose is to trade and get the resources we need, such as the hammers, such as DCEs or energy Lodos, um, Aqua Patches, etc. Then we have two Mewtwo as a way to try to deal with Zorg, um, not Zorg, with Buzzle Lycanroc. Um, we try to deny Buzzle or attack Buzzle for a lot of damage, especially because against Buzzle Lycanroc, your uh, main attacker Glacian is actually not too useful. So Mewtwo becomes the main attacker of the deck. Now we have one Lele only. Um, I would have loved to see a Lily here as part of the one Lele just to have that small chance, especially because we're not using Bridget. And then here's the Lapras GX, um, an alternate attacker to Glacian, alternate weakness to um, draw three cards with Collect with a single water. Blizzard Burn deals 160, and um, you can't attack next turn. But with a choice band you're dealing 190 which is actually a very nice number and if you have used frost bullet before um, you actually get to spread the damage and deal um, and actually um, uh, make sure that you don't need the choice band or you get the extra damage for the knockouts on stuff that has 200 or 210 hp and finally we have ice beam gx which deals 100 damage and paralyzes which can actually be very effective to lock in something to knock it out the next turn um, four Sycamore, three Guzma, three N, and two Cynthia as the draw engine. Uh, triple Aqua Patch, four Ultra Ball, two Nest Ball um, for recovery and Pokemon Search. Triple Choice Band and triple Float Stone uh, for utility. Double Field Blower, double Enhanced Hammer, and double Energy Lodo, and one Rescue Stretcher round out the deck. And then we have four DCs and seven basic water energy. So let's jump into the ladder and see if we can do well with this Zorg Glacian deck. And Pixel Hungry, thank you so much. Eight months in a row. <laughs> wow, thank you so, so much for subscribing. Um, you were our first subscriber and now it's been eight months of, subscri of subscription. Thank you so, so much. That's very, very kind of you. Huge shout out to Pixel Hungry. And yeah, huge shout out to Tabletop Village and Sakura Scoop as well. Sponsors of the channel. They really help us um, when we need to. And yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Pixel Hungry, thank you so, so much. All the table mod love for you. And we're up against Gengar 101. Um, I believe I played this guy the other day um, and I got wrecked. 
Now we're up against a pump kabo deck. Oh gosh. Probably not the best deck for us to face against. Um, simply because Collation is just not useful against it because of Octillery. Uh, we don't even get a Water Energy to evolve immediately. So this is gonna be a tough one for sure. Um, okay. So we can set up double Zoruas. Uh, Mewtwo I don't see being too helpful here. If I lose AV, I lose AV. No Zorak is prized. Um, one Glacian is prized. And then one Aqua Patch is prized. Uh, two Guzma are prized. And oh wow, two Sycamore are prized. So four supporters prized. We have four supporters prized here. Okay. So I'll attach to the bench Zorua, fully expecting my active EV to just simply go down. And I think I'm just gonna field blower. No, like I'm not gonna field blower, I mean to say. Okay. Gurgeist is pretty good against puzzle. Yep, I agree. Gurgeist is pretty good against puzzle. Okay, so there's a Gurgeist. There's a Floodstone, that's two tool cards plus the Clef Keys. <laughs> full full art Sycamores, yep, Miss Mila. Four full art, two full art Sycamores in the prizes. Not just any Sycamore, but two full art Sycamores. <laughs> okay. We see a Bridget for more Pump Caboose, I would imagine. Bridget for more Pump Caboose. Fail Hand. Full Hand. Oh, Full Hand Sycamores. Yeah, I thought you were uh, looking at the Full Arts, not the Seven Card Sycamore. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay. So double clef key, those are the tools that are gonna get discarded here to get the knockout and that's perfectly fine because afterwards we just field blow away the two actual uh, the two actual tool cards, the floatstone and the the thing, the poison barb. So we're in an okay position here. Um, I'm just not sure, like I feel like I should go after Octillery here. Oh, but I'm still missing a Pokemon actually. Um, I'm not dealing enough damage to go after Octillery, so maybe I'll do that next turn. Um, for now, I'll evolve Davy. No harm in doing so. Um, the good guys having 120 HP is not ideal, but then with that we can actually guarantee the knockout um, with Glacian onto the Octillery, which is what we're looking for, kind of. And now we field blow away the two tool cards. Uh, Gurgeist is weak, so we're dealing just enough damage to get the knockout here. And do we Cynthia? Do I floatstone? Yeah, I will floatstone and I will Cynthia. Why not? Why not? Okay, we have Aqua Patch here, which is nice. And then we get the knockout. So next turn, hopefully, we'll be able to just get rid of Octillery and after and we place the 30 on the Pumpkaboo and afterwards we place, we knock out the Pumpkaboo or the Kurgeist. Uh, but yeah, interesting to see my opponent has Octillery and Zorark, which is really weird. That feels like it's just a bit too much, I would say. It feels a little bit too much. Okay. There's a stretcher for the pump couple, maybe? Or the Gurgeist? Or just put back two Klefkis? Yeah, one Klefki, one Gurgeist, one pump couple. 
Our Zorak should be safe this turn, right? Our Zorak should definitely be safe. Zorak should definitely be safe here. Okay. Trace band, stretcher, another stretcher. Uh, the Prowl City is not too impactful. Like, after we get rid of this Octillery, his deck should stumble quite a bit. Oh, there's a Sycamore, okay. I think the strategy is still the same, though, here. The strategy is still the same. Here's a Kurgeist, there's a Choice Band, there's another Klefki. Looks like the Zerua will not even be evolving for now. He's gonna ram for 50. Okay, fair enough. Um, ram for 50 to try and set up that extra, oops, to try and set up that extra damage. But we had our plan. I, okay, I guess I'll trade first. Trade away a Sycamore. I might set up another Zoark and then trade again. Uh, Rescue Stretcher, I don't feel like it's going to be very good here. So we'll just get the Zoark, we trade again, and then we lay for our one Guzma. We Lele for our one Guzma. Unless we don't hit it here. And then we knock out Artillery and I feel like I'm actually gonna place the 30 onto the Zorua instead. Because that has the energy, that's the one card that could become uh, Zorak. And with a Choice Band I just get rid of the Zorua. And there's the first bullet, so 30 on the Zerua. Also, if he doesn't evolve it, we can actually knock out Zerua next turn, which is good. And no access to Lele, no access to trades either, because the Glacian is active. Um, so yeah, we should be good here. We really, really should be good. There's the Gurgeist. There's another choice band, so lots of tool cards. Um, the good thing is he can detach clef keys to clef keys and stuff like that, like not more than once. Not more than once. There's one. Stretcher, okay. So did my opponent get the DC to get the knockout here? One, two, three, four. Yep, there's a DC. So there's gonna be the knockout. <laughs> I did kill Tilly. No shame though. No shame. So, Pumpkin Bomb, I mean, he's gonna get rid of a ton of tool cards here, right? All of them. We don't have Guzma, we still have two Guzmas prized, ugh. <laughs> you printed a whistle with your 3D printer at work, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I hear 3D printers are really nice. Okay, so we're definitely ending this turn. Um, we get to this, we get energy Lodo, grab the water to set up another Glacian, and then we end, and then we trade. Um, it's just, like, for my opponent to get a knockout, I feel like he needed to discard the Choice Band. I didn't know how much damage he dealt. Maybe he needed the Choice Band to get the damage. Um, yeah, he needed the Choice Band, I think. And then, ooh. Okay, so let's trade the Eevee. We definitely no longer need the Eevee. And then let's trade the Ultra Ball as well. We're also not getting puzzles. Like the puzzles could become Kuzmas. And then we eliminate this guy. And I'll just attach the Choice Man, no reason not to. Uh, well, no reason to attach it actually. And then we just knock this guy out. And now my opponent has three cards. No 
tools other than the clef key, no nothing in play. So hopefully this is enough to just close out the game. Um, <laughs> the, the 3D printer doesn't work half the time, well that's not good. That's definitely not good. Okay, so we see a floatstone, we see Lele as one of the three cards that my opponent got. We see a TC. But are we gonna see a pass here? Wow. Oh yeah, he got that with the Lele, never mind. <laughs> Okay, there's no way our Zora goes down, right? Right? And then next turn, <clears throat> if we find a DC or an Aqua Patch. Uh, never mind, I was gonna say we could knock out the Pump Kaboo, but my opponent found the Gurgeist. There's a Dashing Pouch, two Dashing Pouches, one, two, three, four tool cards. Oh my gosh. And he just got. Oh, and he gets Octillery. You're kidding. What? Man, my opponent is running really hot. Really, really hot. Um, so three tool cards, four. That's 160, 170, minus 20, 150. He needs one more tool card, so a Klefki, right? A Klefki does it. A Klefki does the trick here for my opponent. Okay, yeah, so he will take knockout here. Um, we're still looking for DCE. We're looking for DCE. We have Hammer. Oh, he needs another Pokemon to attach to that Clef Key, right? Four tool cards is not enough. 170, minus 20, 150. Am I missing something? It's 10 plus 40. So he discards four tool cards. That's one. Yeah. So 10 short. 10 short. Okay. So then let's trade the choice band. I mean it doesn't matter. He put he put two DCs back with one special charge. So he has two in play one in play, one in the discard. Okay, so we have a choice here. We can Knock out Octillery and knock out Zorua and remove the energy and leave my opponent with two cards in his hand. I think I like that, especially because Zorark survived. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, he used special charge and then I guess I'll trade again. I forgot to trade again before doing that. Um, yeah. And then Floatstone here, I guess. And then Frost Bullet, remove. Like a potential Zork with a lot of HP, we remove the Octillery, we get two prizes, and we remove the energy. So my opponent says well played. Um, I assume that's because we're going to win. Like it's never right to assume so, but I would hope this means we have the win. Oh gosh, top deck Sycamore. Or he already had the Sycamore. And then there's a DC. Goes for the energy drive. So now we Guzma knockout and we win. Oof. It was a really hard fought battle though. <laughs> it was a really, really hard fought battle. Okay, the two Guzmas being priced definitely didn't help our case early on. But we pulled through guys. We actually pulled through. Okay, so let's find another deck. Another deck, not <laughs> another match with this deck. Let's find another game with this deck. Okay. Okay, so there's an Eevee. <laughs> GG. Oh, it's it's you, Gamer Allo. Okay, GG. I didn't know you were Gengar. <laughs> GG. 
That was quite the match. Oh, do we have puzzles in this? No, we don't have puzzles. That's why I never drew puzzles. <laughs> That's why. Uh, okay, so my opponent turned one Mallows. If I had a water, I would just evolve and do nothing, maybe? I'm still gonna end, I think, looking for the water. I think I'm still gonna end looking for the water. My <laughs> gamer got wrecked. Uh, I wouldn't say wrecked. Okay, we don't know what we are up against. So that's why I benched the third EV. We get the water, that's really nice. Um, we don't get much else, but we do get the DC, which is very good. We do get the DC, we have one Zeru apprised. Yeah, it was very close. It was definitely very close. So we have one Zeru apprised. We have um, mm, mm, mm. one Ultra World prized. We have one N prized, one Sycamore prized. No, not N, just one Sycamore, one Floodstone. Huh. And something else. Oh, one Mewtwo, and then something else. Yeah, that turn one was insane. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just hoping my opponent doesn't have Kuzma. And then we pass. Next turn we have Knockout on the Mew, very nice. And we just placed 30 on something. So the Choice Band here uh, coming in clutch. See a Bridget. Turn one. Bridget, turn one, that's fine. Okay, top deck Cynthia is really cool. Top deck Cynthia is really, really cool. And we're up against Zoroark Lucario, so this is fine. This should be a good matchup. Yeah, one more bench to attach to second Klefki would have been very good for my opponent. Um, okay. So we're looking for maybe Aqua Patch. In case, I mean, there's no way we lose the collision, right? And we frost pull it and place the 30 here because then we can pull our spear for the knockout. Then we can pull our spear for the knockout. Get a Mewtwo and an Ultra all of our price cards. No abilities for my opponent is great. I wish I had healing in this deck though. Healing would be so good. Imagine if Rough Seeds was still legal and standard. Glacian would just be that much more ridiculous. Would be that much more ridiculous. I have Manafi. <laughs> yeah, true. Manafi is a thing. Uh, okay, so the 30 on the Zoarks ends up being relevant, actually. Um, I feel like I'm gonna attach the DC because finding a water is much easier. And if I hit. Do I have Mallow in this? I generally don't remember if I have Mallow. If I have Mallow in this, um, I'm gonna Mallow for the Aqua Patch. No, I don't have Mallow. I do not have Mallow. Um, there are three Aqua Patches, so this deck thinning is actually very decent. I'll just grab Glacian. And then I will trade away probably the N. Yeah. Yeah, if I can just retreat. Okay, no Aqua Patch. Ooh, I have Guzma though. No, but this is the only threat that my opponent has. So I think I'm just patient here. If I lose the Glacian, then so be it. Like, I literally have no other attacker. And my opponent has two cards in his hand. And he has super scoop ups, wow. Super scoop ups in Zoark Lucario. 
No malo, that's muy malo. <laughs> Hashtag table one puns. <laughs> no malo, that's muy malo. Hashtag table one puns. Okay, my opponent was holding the end. So now, strong plus Lucario gets him the knockout. Um, there's a strong, there's a Lucario. <clears throat> and now attacking into that Lucario is very scary as well. Oh boy, the GX attack is just a big deal. It's a really, really big deal. But we have Kuzma, so we can probably play around it this turn at least. Um, okay, so let's trade away the Eevee. And then... We can nest ball or whatever um, for Mewtwo, I guess it's fine. Did you see the Zorak list by Xander Pero? Yeah, the one with Clovers. Um, yeah, that looked pretty fun. Okay, so the Energy Lotto does hit us the water that we needed. And Ivan, no music today because a lot of people have been saying that it's very distracting. Uh, maybe I just need to revise the playlist. Um, but I'm trying to respect people's wishes. And then, okay, so I feel like I should take a knockout on the Riolu and place 30 on the Lucario. I feel like that's the better play here. Um, instead of going after the Zork. Uh, because then I have no fear of the GX attack because it's only doing, dealing 90, 110, 140 maximum. And I'm one choice band away from knocking out either Zork or Lucario. Uh, yeah, I did see the Xander Pearl list, um, but he's like, uh, we're in the same chat online and he said he only used, um, he said he only used the Clovers twice in nine rounds or something like that. Like, very low, very low. And yeah, I have Lele in deck, that's why I saved the Ultra Ball. So I can Lele for Sycamore, which will hopefully find me the, um, the Choice Band. Ooh, Super Scoop Up Tails. Yeah, Super Scoop Up is a bad card, guys. Uh, but yeah, the plan is probably to Ultra Ball for um, Lele. And like, I also can not win this turn and still be fine. I have two turns to do so. And yeah, my opponent's just gonna choose to attack. And he will bridge it to make sure he's dealing enough damage. No trades, no Lele's is really cool. There's a choice band, so dealing 150 it really makes no, not a big difference. And then the Lapras could actually be useful. I even top deck the sick over myself, like on its own. So let's just go for it. So we're looking for a choice band to Polar Spear here. Uh, none of those are choice band. <clears throat> I can do this. And there's a the choice band. So yeah, pretty strong, pretty strong showing for this. Uh, this is just the Charlotte top 8 list, I'm just showcasing um, its potential against Zorak decks, I guess. Um, I would imagine it struggles against Buzzwell, um, that's why the double Mewtwo is in there. Um, so if you see Buzzwell, you would just focus to double Mewtwo 100%. Uh, but yeah, that was a pretty, a pretty clean game, so let's do one, one last one with this deck, and then I have to go have to go have breakfast even though it's 1 p.m. <laughs> okay, so we do want to go first, of course. That's really, really strong. And I don't know what we're up against. We don't have Bridget on turn one, so I feel now I'll start the Zerua, I guess. I'll start the Zerua, and then we don't need to start anything else. Okay, so we're up against a Seal Valley deck. So obviously, Glacian will be very nice. I'm gonna keep the Energy Lodo. Mewtwo probably won't be too relevant. So I think I just Cynthia here. 
Um, I'm not using N because N is better in the late game, especially with ability lock, and also there's a chance my opponent is dead drawing, so why disrupt that? And we do get an EV, but we don't get an energy to attach to it, which is really sad. So yeah, having the turn one energy is actually really, really big for the deck. Um, my opponent gets a natural Bridget. That still could mean that my opponent just doesn't have um, a good hand, uh, but we will have end here, so. Oh wow, this is Silvali, Rayquaza, Tapu Pulu. Okay, so that's actually a lot scarier for sure. That is actually a lot scarier. Um, armor press means we can never knock out the type null. Armor press does mean we can never knock out the type null. Um, I feel like I should pressure here. I feel like I should pressure. Um, thing is, if I fill up my bench a little bit more, I might be in trouble. Uh, I'll trade the Zork. And... Yeah, I just I need to do some damage. I need to do enough damage to where I can two hit KO the Sealed Valley. Um, so if I'm counting on doing 150, I need to do at least 60. So this is 60, right? Oh no, it's 30 less. Wow, that's very strong. It's actually 30 less. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, yeah, this. And just grab the other... Oh, I just discarded this orc. Because I'll grab the AV. If I lose this orc here, that's really bad news. Maybe I should have just retreated and attacked with Tapu Lele. That probably would have been a little bit better. Because losing the Tapu Lele is fine. Losing the orc is not ideal. Yeah, my opponent's just gonna GX here. Attach energy, Silvali, GX, knockout. And then we're gonna need Lele. We're gonna need another TC, and we are going to attack with Lele. <laughs> uh, with the first elixir, it hits the second one. Ooh, attaches to the Bulu. That's good news. That is really good news for us. That is actually really good news for us. Okay. Okay, so just another armor press. That worked out really well for us. Um, so now that Bulu is a big threat, I guess. Um, I'll just do this. I mean, in a best, in an imaginary best world, I would uh, bring up the other type null, hit that for 90, or maybe the Rayquaza, and then place the 30 on top of Bulu. <laughs> the White Snake. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. That's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Um, all effects that reduce damage are broken right now. They end at the end of your turn, not your opponent's. Wow, really? That's pretty good. Um, I guess I'll energy Lodo. The energy being in the discard pile, meh, probably not worth it. I'm not gonna get double Aqua Patch here. And then I'll attach the choice vent here, and then we click a more. Did not even get one Aqua Patch. Uh, let's trade away a Sycamore now. And we get a DCE, which we can't play this turn. So, ah, uh, if he can... If he finds a Choice Band, he can knock us out without discarding the energy. Otherwise, he has to use a GX attack, which wouldn't be awful. And if this Zorak goes down, we won't have access to any more Zoraks. Which might make the game a little bit difficult. Um, 
Could the bit pop up be moved to the left of the screen? Uh, yeah, I mean it only lasts for a few seconds, right? But yeah, I can move it. I think. Okay, it's moved now to the left. Okay, but yeah, it only blocks the gameplay for a few seconds, right? Okay. What do you want to play for Portland? Good question. Um, I'm feeling like in a disrupting mood. So Zora Glacian is appealing, uh, Sylvian is appealing, um, Espion Garb is appealing, uh, the Quad Hoopa deck is appealing as well. All of those. Okay, so there's a triple energy. Now it comes down to can my opponent find a choice band. If he finds a choice band, that would actually be pretty good for him. Although we do have the field blower to immediately get that out of the way. See a neutral for an Oranguru, and we're gonna see an N. Yeah, that makes sense. So we might struggle to find the DC here. We might actually struggle to find the DC. Or not. That works. <laughs> that definitely works. My opponent discards all the energy, I think we're fine. I think that should be, uh, that should allow us to win the game. He chose not to very smartly. He chose to use the GX attack. So we're still gonna do Glacian attacking into the Bulu. Now he can't heal the damage. Um, so we're gonna hit for 120 and we're gonna end here. So we're looking for um, Aqua Patches now. And we got none of that. Um, the DC is nice at least for Lele. And now we gotta hope that my opponent doesn't have a choice band. <laughs> um, Silvali does me so much better than Silvali Bulu. It has access to Zolgado Prism, and because it doesn't need to play bands, it can afford to devote more space to memory drives. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, the grass typing could possibly be the only reason you would want to do that, but then um, like they're, you're not even taking advantage of that. Um, like you don't need to worry about that because uh, Dustman just one kills everything. So yeah, I agree, Dominism. I definitely agree with what you're saying. Okay, you'll troll for another type null. Does my opponent just... Oh, okay, he can't play Lele. Oops. <laughs> I forgot about my own Glacian. I forgot about my own Glacian. Okay, we see a field blower. The choice band loss is not that big. Immediately gets the choice band. So now... Ugh. Um, this Volga, when are you going to add the chat to main screen in recordings? I mean, I can do that already. Um, but the issue is where? Where do I place the chat? Like, on the right side? Um, on the left side, rather, of the screen? Maybe that could be a good place to put it. Like, look. Now the chat box is activated. So, if you guys chat, it'll show up. If you guys want to do that. Um, you can try chatting and then um, is Charlotte a person or from NC? Uh, Charlotte is the city. <laughs> Definitely a city. Okay. So our hand is not great. Uh, but my opponent has no energy in play, which is good news for us, I guess. Um, I'll do this. I'll take away the DCE. And yeah, there you guys. There you go, guys. There's a chat. Um, maybe I can make the text a little smaller. Uh... There you go. <laughs> Use the table one emojis. Uh, those of you who are subscribed so that people see what they're missing out on. Uh, let me just make the size a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, see? Easy, easy peasy. Um, 
Okay. Ah, so do I just attack the Pulu here? Or do I... Or will I be patient and just do this? I feel like this is a little better. There you go. Okay, so maybe it's still too big. Let me edit it. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, we can include the chat box. It's no big deal. If it's something you guys want, you will have it. The stream is for you guys, not for me. Uh, so let's try that size now. Um, someone try typing or use the emojis. <laughs> yeah, that looks better, right? That's more readable. Okay, so there's a seal valley. There's a grass onto it. And then we should see a pass. Starting to struggle to see how we're gonna win this unless we get a. Oh gosh, multi switch. No. <laughs> Bench is Leole, that's fine. Hello, Josh. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> there you go. Is that better, guys? Um, is that better? Um, if you guys want, um, tell tell the people on YouTube who are missing out on uh, being famous and showing up on Twitch. Ugh, what is this? Okay, I feel like I'm gonna go after the Seal Valley now. Um, because that doesn't get knocked out easily, um, it, do it can't retreat easily either, and then I can attack it twice and place it 30 on the Bulu and knock the Bulu, which is a big threat. And Viper Killer, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We have we have chat now. Shout out to Fernando, my boy. There you go. <laughs> oh my. You're joking. A second multi-switch in hand already? No. Okay, so new plan. I <laughs> goose my gun, I guess. This dead draw situation is so sad. Didn't even need to bench the, the Zerua. Oh gosh. Yeah. There's a TC. <coughs> oh gosh. We're gonna lose, aren't we? Oh, third multi switch? Third multi switch. What? What? Third multi switch. Ugh. I mean, we can Guzman try to buy more time, I guess. Uh, maybe we can. He's only played one Guzma. Yeah. I guess we can try to buy ourselves one more, a few more turns. Yeah, we're done here, guys. We're definitely done. Unless we get a new Glacian. And my opponent doesn't find Guzmas for whatever reason. Yeah, it's just Guzma for game, right? I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess Guzma isn't technically game. You know what I mean. A Grass Energy is game. But there's three... Five, that's eight Grass Energy. Um, that's eight Grass Energy in play so far. Wait. Oh, he doesn't have the GX attack, never mind. Now he has free retreat. Um, he didn't have free retreat before. Uh, because uh, Glacian stopped Silvali GX's ability. Yeah, so no free retreat because of Glacian. And we get the Aqua Patch, but it's a little bit too late. Too little, too late. So yeah, um, the deck seemed decent we faced off against this weird deck and we dead drew so we couldn't do much about that uh, but yeah i mean the two decks we showcased today they're pretty quirky they're like out of the norm decks not the standard puzzles or pods or like an zoro guardy etc um so i hope you guys enjoyed that um this will be all for me today guys um if you're watching live on twitch thank you guys so much for being here, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow in Spanish, most likely. 
and then on Friday I fly to Portland, so no stream uh, that day or the weekend. But then I'll be back Monday or Tuesday with more streams, more content, and more everything Table One. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, I think Azul is streaming, so I'm sure you guys can still watch. Um, oh, Azul just stopped. Okay, um, Limitless Nico I think was streaming as well. Um, let's host someone. Let's leave this with a good host. Let's feature someone. So, so that's why my stream jumped up in viewers because um, Azul left. Okay, so let's let's host Limitless Nico. And thank you guys so much. Um, I wish I had more time, but I have now. I'm gonna do coaching, so that's why I'm leaving. But thank you guys so much. Thanks for the good luck wishes, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys can we can hang out tomorrow um, in Spanish, but. Um, I'm sure you guys can still understand what's going on. So thank you guys and bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>